Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy JP from Two Coast Customs. Um, lately, I've been working out of town and uh, pretty much had no time to do anything. Uh, just come home uh, last night, uh, spend Fourth of July weekend with my family, uh, and a lot of the other people at the turnaround have gone home as well. Um, so, but that's gonna kick back off again Monday night. So. I uh, figure I shoot a little couple videos while I'm in town. Um, one of which I uh, told you about on the last video was uh, a pole position cab that I got, and uh, for about a week I had I had took some time and repainted the original graphics and stuff, and uh, patched up the bottom where there's a bunch of nicks and stuff, putting some new paint, repainted all the black and stuff, and. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll take the camera around and I'll show you uh, what all exactly I'm doing for it. And also while I've been gone, I've uh, had some supplies come in. Uh, some from Brad and some I ordered. Um, so I'll go ahead and uh, show you guys what's going on here. Okay. So this is a cab I got from a guy downtown Baton Rouge. Uh, it said it was basically just taking up room and he didn't care for pole position so he wasn't going to try to restore it. So uh, I got it uh, from him for little to nothing. Actually I didn't pay anything. All I did was go pick it up. So I got it and uh, I started piddling around with the electronics that it had and from researching and stuff. Um, just went ahead and decided that I would go uh, main system no matter what because uh, I did not feel like messing with all those boards and this thing was entirely filled with electronics just to play one simple game of pole position. So uh, I'm wanting to play more games uh, and more exciting games in pole position so uh, went ahead and gutted everything. You see from the back here uh, it has stock 6 by 9s in there and uh, there's some in the seat as well so it does have the surround sound set up and uh, all the original pedals and stuff are left uh, so yeah it's pretty much gutted that out and then uh, uh, on the top here I repainted the top and there was a, a crack across the top so I made this black board and just kind of edited it in on there uh, the inside just started kind of cleaned it up <clears throat> repainted all the black in here and then of course you have uh, where the monitor goes and stuff uh, cleaned up the original dash uh, did a little black detail painting to uh, kind of restore things a little bit um, the uh, carpet was absolutely trash and beat so I put some of this carpet down which is actually some of the carpet that came out of my camper and then just put some nice aluminum uh, threshold barriers uh, to give it a little more professional look. Um, the graphics I just went in and, and masked and, and painted all the black onto them. I still have a little bit to, to go um, but I spent some time trying to mix the colors in it and I got pretty close but I mean from two feet away here you really have to be looking for it but uh, overall I mean the graphics in pretty good shape after I got done with them uh, this black stripe here I added that it was all white but the bottom was beat up there so the camera flaws the nicks and stuff I, I made that black stripe and I actually think it makes the cab look more sleek this cab will be going in my house so I'm going to extra detail on this one um, so yeah, got the original steering wheel and stuff. Over here I just basically took off the hardware and repainted it all black. I'm using, uh, this is not water based but this is oil based uh, rust -oleum paint and it works very good for this. Uh, you can see the original coin box. Um, there was a crappy bezel in it, it's made of cardboard, I might redo that. Uh, this is a piece of plexi that I had cut uh, that actually goes, it rounds off the back here, but I think I'm going to go with a clear piece of plexiglass uh, to get more like the original cabinet. 
and then uh, of course here this is the original glass not plexiglass but actual glass uh, monitor bezel and the graphics are pretty good shape except for this area here so I'm gonna trim out this or actually scrape it off the back okay, so you could just scrape it off with a, a razor but I'm gonna scrape it off and then I'm gonna print me some graphics on some clear uh, sticker paper and then stick it back from the back and hopefully get me a good camouflage and still achieve the same effect because uh, I really like the vintageness look of that so I'm definitely not going to change that um, plus it's real glass so it just overall looks better than plexiglass so now that I showed you all that uh, my boy Brad Carpenter has sent me some guts to this bad boy he sent me a computer uh, which I'll get to working on and putting me in about a thousand racing games that will be loaded on here Brad uh, spent a little extra time and put me a little artwork on the box because he's a uh, <laughs> loony like that but uh, I was like oh yeah pole position and then I was like what the fuck some fat bitch riding on the back of a crotch rocket that was freaking hilarious <laughs> yeah, my wife laughed when she, the box came in. She's like, what the hell is this? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, Brad sent me some guts to it. Thanks, Brad. Good man, bro. And, uh, yeah, so got that to work on. And then I ordered this little kit here, which is called a something whiz. Oh, what is the name of this thing? OptiWiz, OptiWiz, that's what it's called. Anyway, OptiWiz is by Groovy Game Gear. And this little thing here is going to allow me to use the stock steering wheel. Because behind here is an optical sensor. And with this little adapter here, I'll be able to hook that up uh, to run my game. So I won't have to change the steering wheel and ruin the look of uh, the cabinet. I can use that same steering wheel. So it's pretty awesome. Um, ordered me some uh, chrome locks for the doors, for the uh, coin doors, just to get that authentic game look. And um, they sent me this. This is not what I ordered, but I might be able to use that. I wanted to change out the little the, the coin door things to blue, because the original ones are orange and they're kind of beat. And uh, I still, I think I'm still gonna go with the the blue. Um, but yeah, they sent me this one, and you see, this is the actual little button you push to eject your coin when you don't play or whatever. Um, but I want to make these like indigo blue. And this is the color I wanted, but this is a, it's all one piece. So I'm thinking maybe I can remove this and uh, just have a blue backlit, backlit button that says like start or something. So whenever you want to engage in your game, you just hit that and it's pretty cool because it's, it's pre-wired and it will light up blue so uh, so I'll probably be able to do something with it but uh, damn it I wish it was the other ones so uh, that's where we are with the uh, the uh, pole position arcade um, I might piddle with it a little this weekend I might not mess with it at all to tell you the truth because it just work like 200 hours night shift and day shift so uh, I don't know how much I'm actually gonna do uh, while I'm home uh, I am messing with the helmet it was sent to me through the little unity project going on on the 405th and that'll be on the next video so I might mess with that this weekend um, but uh, yeah just give you guys a, a overview of the uh, pole position cabinet uh, I'm really excited. Uh, I've been wanting a racing cab, and this one's going to be pretty sweet, especially when you, you know, have guests over and stuff. Because uh, you guys seen my other arcades and the one I built for my pops on the videos here. Um, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.